it's really terrible. It's like something out of a horror movie. The outside of the home on 71st Street in Milwaukee hides a nightmare that prosecutors say two boys lived through and survived. These children were essentially confined to their room for much of their lives and the door had a latch from the outside and the windows were already shut. Um, I have finally been able to review videos and photographs of the home and I can tell you that almost every inch of their walls was covered in human feces. The children ages 7 and 9 breaking out of what police call a terrible hoarding situation and what neighbors call a house of horrors on Thursday. The two boys escaped from this window. A neighbor saw them crawling out of the window barefoot onto the AC unit. They were able to make a run for it. That's when neighbors saw them in the street and called 911. I'm not going to ever forget the way they looked when they came running out of that house. Never forget that. Prosecutors say the boys were naked, covered in feces, blood and red marks. The look on their faces was pure bewilderment. They just they were just looking all around. They could they could not like I said, I don't think they'd ever been outside before. Police arrested the boy's mother, Katie Koch, and her boyfriend, Joel Mankey. Both are charged with multiple counts of chronic neglect of a child and false imprisonment. According to the complaint, the children's room had feces smeared all over the walls of the room. There was also a latch to lock the door from the outside of the kid's room. What did you notice living across from them? Nothing. We that is actually that is something all of us neighbors talked about because we'd never seen either one of the children. According to the complaint, medics took both boys to a hospital where their heads had to be shaved, their hair full of matted feces. Eventually they'll they'll learn. I mean, they'll get the help they need. And we just I hope they realize how people really did care about them. Reporting in Milwaukee, Kendall Keys, WISN 12 News.